the hill. Yeah, that's yeah. my And you can even like hold that and move the leg up and down like I was showing you with the other moves yesterday. Getting some deep pressure in there. You get that monkey bars over the top that you Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what an Ashiatsu table looks like. So if you Google an Ashiatsu table, it's got all sorts of bars to help you balance. And uh, we were going to put some bars in at our house so the cord can work on my back, you know. That's balance. cool. Yeah bars on the roof and that's certainly like when I had that treatment in Hong Kong I was telling you about where she cracked every every vertebrae in my back and she was you know less than 50 kilos and uh, she had bars so that she could really use her big toes either side of the spine to really push down it's only because of the bruise you're fine otherwise <clears throat> Well, like I say, it's good with massage to be um, flexible in your way of thinking, and it's more like, how am I gonna find a technique that's gonna get this pressure, or gonna you know, get the angle that I want. Yeah, you can rock with your foot as well, so just gently rocking the spine, that feels really good. Especially after just being tortured a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I don't think too bad. Sometimes in yoga you actually get to the point where you just wiggle your yep. hips like like you're kind of creating that same vibration. movement there. Yeah. 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 It feels so good after you've done some. I'm not gonna play. So yeah, never underestimate the importance of just a gentle shaking move or rocking, you know. It actually looks really nice. Like I reckon mm. it's like, oh, that's so good. Yeah, it just helps, helps get everything. Break it all up. Break it all up, yeah. Tina, can you do that to me? Sure. <laughs> Please. As long as you just never put any heavy pressure over the spine. You know? Yeah. Okay. So if you're just slightly touching it, that's okay. You know, yeah. but you don't want to put any heavy pressure. Yeah. I can see Tina stabilizing herself. Oh, she's oh, not really oh, using. She's stabilizing her own yeah, body. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So she's not using Danielle to balance herself. I think that's important because otherwise, then you can push into a person. You know, so you're stabilized and you're completely in control of the amount of weight or pressure that you're using. Looks good. It's probably not gonna go because oh, I'm not trying to crack, I'm just Getting that little knot there that I can feel. Yeah. Her shoulder's actually dropping, which she doesn't really probably realise, but her shoulder says she's been doing that, so actually dropped quite a lot. It's like it's let go of a bit on that side. I need to change sides. I guess I can only see it because I'm above, like above yeah. her, if I can see that. <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> Does it feel good, Danielle? Yeah. Oh, it kind of feels good. No comment at the moment? <laughs> yeah. It is, it's good. Yeah. It's getting in there. Yeah. And it's not destroying your hands, I guess. Yeah. Because that's really hard when it's you work. Just a, it's just a different feel. Like you're, you're just displacing the tension around a little bit more. Yeah. 
separating it a little bit. Pushing the, the what are they called? Yeah. Separating, putting separation between the spine and the, just and the just bands. Stitching. Yeah. Just that rocking is really good. Yeah, the rocking really does. Yeah. It's kind of like a gentle sort of way of getting rid of that. And it just starts Whatever's to rupture it yeah. from the poke yeah. It goes is similar to you getting into the tummy, you really yeah. doing that rocking kind of thing. Yeah. It's more, it's more flow, but you're still rocking. It's, yeah, it helps with what we call rhythm and flow with the massage, and it's the flow of the energy that's creating tension that's leaving. <laughs> making me want to laugh. <laughs>